Well, you could be seeing new power lines through power in Cache County soon. But if landowners have their way, the power lines won't be on their private ground. Those landowners met today at the American Falls Library to talk about fighting this issue. Eyewitness News reporter Misty Inglet was there for that. She joins us now live in the Pocatello Newsroom. Misty, what was their goal today? Todd, they were just hoping to raise more support from the communities. They said a big company means a big fight. What kind of a defense do we have? Money. That's the only way landowners can get the power line moved from their private land onto public. But it's going to cost them $12,000. So far, they're only a third of the way to their goal. But they'll keep working because they believe the power line is a bad idea. I am opposed to the project in the respect that it is invasive. Uh, it will affect our, our farming uh, methods. The high tension power lines also inhibit the ability of our county, I think, to add uh, business in the future. We have corridors for a reason. We have public right-of-ways for a reason. It makes zero sense to me to establish new ones when by Idaho Power's own admission, this power line does not, is not needed for the state of Idaho and does no good for the residents of our, our state. And they have another fear of power lines. One of the things landowners are most upset about is if they can't stop the power line, they won't even be fairly compensated. The power company is paying $2.2 million per mile to put up the line. In comparison, farmers get $1,000 an acre or $20,000 per mile, and that's a one-time payment. Landowners say that scale just doesn't balance out. The compensation for the direction that they're going to go is, is completely ridiculous. Landowners say they need to stick together and show the power company they're not backing down. I feel we have to, to stand up and do the right thing. And I think the running the power lines through an area such as Rockland isn't the right thing. Rockland is only one area that would be affected by the new power line. Casha and power counties would have most of it. The county commissioners say that they're behind the landowners 100%. Reporting live in the Pocatello Newsroom, I'm Misty Inglet. All right, Misty, thanks for that report. Uh, they need to raise that money quickly before the power company selects the exact locations and starts putting up the towers.